Howdy, Rex here. We're sitting here with Val, and we're taking a look at this new optic here, Val. Yep. What do we got going on? We have uh, the, the latest uh, version of the 1 to 10. We, we now have three, three models in a 1 to 10. Uh, the original one was the uh, dual reticle, dual illumination. Uh, and then we have the second focal plane, and by popular request and demand, uh, we got finally a 1 to 10 first focal mill mill. So if you need the most versatile scope possible for your semi-automatic rifle, three-gun competition or combat, from point-blank shooting inside of a room or all the way out to long distances, maybe even a thousand meters, this thing will cover all your bases. It's a 1 to 10 power zoom ratio, incredibly rugged, 35 millimeter main tube, very, very well constructed, put together. This thing is built for battle and it is an incredible piece of engineering. There are not many optics out there that are going to give you this level of versatility. Now, when you have this thing situated on one power magnification, it's a true one power magnification. And uh, you can run around, bend and aiming concept, have both eyes completely open, and the image is incredibly large. This is a lot better even than an aim point by quite a lot, actually, in my opinion. The, the, there is absolutely no color distortion. There's no image distortion. The glass is incredible. There is no loss of light. It actually uh, gathers an amazing amount of light considering the small 26 millimeter uh, lens because of the high quality of the glass. Uh, when you crank it up to three power, you have something that's decent for medium range. Um, it'll work uh, from zero to 300 meters without a problem. If you need to get out there at your longer ranges for most of your 223, 308 caliber type platforms, uh, the six power is going to cover those bases quite well. And if you need to do extreme long range stuff, you can crank it up to 10 power and have uh, basically the same magnification that the military has classically used on their sniper rifles for a long time. The reticle design is really, really good. You have the ability either to use your elevation knob and your windage knob to get on target, or you can use this uh, really slick reticle for a hold off values. All in all, this thing is definitely worth a look at. It is a premium price tag, but this is world-class stuff right here. This is a lot better than a lot of the stuff I've seen for a similar price, believe it or not. Um, and uh, it might seem like a hefty price tag, but in all actuality, it's an incredible value and it's some of the best glass I've ever seen and in a package that's incredibly rugged. Um, it's, a, it's a simplified model. Com uh, compared to the one with two radicals and two illumination systems and quite a bit less expensive, more affordable. Um, we changed the radical quite a bit. Um, it's a first focal mill mill, 0.1 MRAT adjustment clicks, uh, illumination on the left hand side. This one has a, a couple of new features. Um, we have a, a, a click at three power, when it clicks into place, I think you can hear it. Okay, a little and detent, then, yeah. A little detent, and then another one at six power. Okay, yep. So um, uh, we 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 got this uh, uh, suggestion from Pat Kelly, who's one of our top three gun shooters, um, and uh, the other feature he suggested is uh, locking turrets and we have a very simple uh, device here uh, once you once you have your uh, scope sighted in you can lock the turrets if you're going on a deployment and or uh, you're working in rough terrain and you want to make sure the, the knobs don't move you just lock them up just like this. Simple as that, huh? Yep. Okay. Done. And the same for windage. And then when you get to where you get and, <laughs> and you're ready for action, all you have to do is release uh, that screw and you're back. 
Now, does this have a zero stop feature as well? Absolutely. Uh, let's say you're over here, side it in, and then you want to set your zero stop. You can loosen these three little beady screws. Turret ring all the way down. So that's threaded on there, yep. so we're moving it downward. Okay. Yep. And most guys don't don't like to get it all the way down, so they want to have a little bit of back movement past zeros. But mm -hmm. if you if you like that, you put it in this position and you tighten these up. If you want to give it a little room, you know, you get it up here a few clicks below, and then you tighten these back up, and you're done. So you're zero and zero stopped. Okay. Also, uh, what what we did in the last uh, 12 months is we came up with this uh, uh, interchangeable BDC turret systems. So um, we made this little turret ring mm -hmm. BDC uh, compatible with several scopes, and you can you can get the scope with a standard 0.1 MRI mechanics. Or you can get it with a 308 BDC turret ring uh, for the 168 grain bullet. Mm. Or you can get it with a 223 BDC turret ring. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, 223 69 grain, 223 62 grain. Okay. So you can you can order it standard or with one BDC turret ring or with all all four, whatever you like. So. Um, what else we have? We have the oh we we took a few shots of the reticle mm -hmm. with a with a with a circle around the around the dot. And what happens? The the circle, by the way, is two mils in diameter. So it's one mil from the center to the uh, inside edge of of the circle each way. Okay. And what happens when you bring the magnification down to one power? The circle and the dot become almost one, because th th this is a ten times zoom optic, and the uh, the range, the wide range of the magnification is is amazing. And when you squeeze from ten all the way down to one, the reticle suffers a lot of movement, being a first focal plane. Yep. So at one power, you have it starts to, to get real thin. So that uh, circle around the dot all of a sudden it's big enough and it, when you illuminate it's almost like running a, a, a yeah. one magnification red dot scope. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still visible even though you're at one power so mm -hmm. you can operate with that center clearly visible. So you got a long range scope and a close quarters battle scope all in one here. Yep. That's pretty slick Val. Yep. It's got a great field of view. It's it's really slick. I, I, I really love the way it came out. It's very nice and you know I don't know if elegant is though if the work is it's a tactical scope, but it's really nice. It came out very proport well proportioned. Uh, ocular looks looks really nice. Uh, the mechanical block, you know, looks very very nice and, and even uh, evenly displaced and it's it's not a a heavy scope. It's a very compact for a 10 power. I believe we measure it about 11 in inches or, or so. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a, it's got a LD glass, okay, a PO. So it, it's really really nice. I, I'm very happy with the way it came out. Mm -hmm.